Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I wanted to do for you a very natural look to do like a bronzy look. I'm actually shooting this video using my phone because I really want to see what the difference is between my phone and my camera. And I've already done my eyebrows. Um, I used my Benefit pencil in number five and I cleaned them up using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in, what is this, Chestnut. And then uh, I'm going to use my primer and this is the Maybelline Maybelline Master Prime and this has SPF 30. It's summer, you do need an SPF. And my the moisturizer that I use was the Olay Whips with SPF already, but I usually just double up because it's so hot and I normally use a vitamin C oil. And if you do if you have a vitamin if you use a vitamin C oil, you definitely need to be covering your face up. I know I'm not gonna be outside, but I might, you know, like pop out. It's kind of cloudy here, but still, you know, you still need that protection from the sun. And for my forehead, because usually that's where I shine a lot. I have a combo skin, so my T-zone is the oily one and I have dry cheeks. I'm going to use the Fazali Skin Tune Blur Primer. And this is a small one that I got from Sephora. And it's really, really thick. And I'm going to put that on my forehead and on my T-zone. This tends to mattify these areas. I'll put some too over here because I tend to shine. For the foundation, I'm going to use a Mented Cosmetics. And this I am M30. That's my shade. I'm hoping this works out. And I haven't used this foundation before so and they said it's buildable and it's it's skin so it's meant to look like your skin I'll, I'll be using my sigma flat kabuki in f80 it's actually matching i was nervous that it wouldn't it wouldn't match and it wouldn't show on my face or it would be too you know too red or too orange it's not bad at all i'll put some more actually quite impressed with how it looks the true test will be later on you know when tested to see how it looks like mentored has never let me down but i'm gonna be trying the pro conceal la girl pro concealer in um, fawn i normally use the naras cosmetics or the color pop one and i want to try this one out as my highlighter and i'll be using my beauty blender I don't think that concealer was enough. I don't think it highlighted my face on anything. Let me put a little bit more. I thought I had put a lot, but obviously not. I wanted to ask you guys, has any of you done Curology? You know that people who, I think it's a company that specifically does, gives you a product specific for your skin type. Cause I'm curious to know, cause I, sometimes I still break out on my forehead. You can't see it. Well, maybe if I come closer, you can see it. The setting of that concealer, I'm going to be using the Smashbox and I'm going to use a pressed powder photo filter in number seven. I found out for me that the loose powders, unless it's almost very slightly, like very slight on my skin tone, color of my skin tone, it makes, it makes, it leaves me looking ashy and white. It accept, it, oh, I can't talk today. It accentuates my, the texture. And it just makes me, it just leaves me looking white. So I just decided I'll be using a pressed powder and this has worked for me. This is already, as you can tell, this is not loose to set the concealer. And so far it's worked for me. Just do what works for you. And I'm just gonna sweep that out. I don't even think I need to sweep anything out. You know what? I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer on my eye, on my, cause I'm gonna put like a powder and I'll set it using the same pressed powder that I have used to highlight. This is the same concealer in Fawn. I have very dark lids, so for me anything brighter as a base for shadow will make my eyeshadows pop. And I didn't put a lot because I found out for me if I use a lot of concealer under my on my eyelids and then I put shadow, it leaves my shadows cakey and I cannot stand that look. I like my shadows to be smooth. I'll take that same powder that I used, the Smashbox, and set, 
accept that. I'm gonna set all that and I'm gonna be using the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in Deep. So what we're doing now is just setting the whole face with powder with all what we've done. I'm gonna contour and I'm gonna use a powder again and I'll be using the Black Radiance powder and this is in pressed powder to bronze and this is in the shade Ebony. <sighs> what brush do I use then? My brushes are dirty. Oh yeah, okay. I'm gonna use this contoured brush I got from Luxbox. I bought um, I bought this. I bought this lipstick holder right here. This one. Oh, like this lipstick holder, and I got uh, they sent me this brush for free. I got this Natasha Denona tan tan bronze and glow palette i've really been on the fence if i should get this this here is cream based and the rest are all powder honestly this is supposed to be uh this is called this one here is a bron oh sorry this here is a bronze bronzer uh lord bronze blush and bronze powder I don't think this is gonna show my skin tone. I, I'm just really hoping she can come up with something darker for our, you know, for our skin tone. The rest of the, these are like, you, you apply this first and then you can apply the rest. I'm gonna try that. I tried them on my hand. It was okay, they didn't look too bad because I don't like a very, very bright highlighter. But that bronzer, I didn't even waste my time. But I'll try it, maybe it might work later, but for today, um, I just, I'm just gonna try this. So this is a, uh, it's called the Glow Cream Base. And that's the base. And if you have, just rub it on, and then you take the Glow Impact Powder, then you apply on top. See, that's what it does. It kind of gives you this. Do that's what I'm going to do. All right, so I'm gonna be using my finger though, because I don't want to put a lot. So this is a cream part, and I'm gonna take a brush apply that highlighter hopefully this works and if you can see it gives it like a nice shimmer so let me try this side now oh, you always have like a good side ah not it too far again this is the cream the glow cream base because that even even the base itself just glows on its own to match the other side I put a little bit, bit of highlighter on top. Lord, it is glowing. The the highlighters, highlighters, highlighters look good, but the bronze blush. Okay, we can try. I'll try the blush. It says blush and bronze powder, which is this this one blush. I don't know showing very slightly let me give it a fair shot let's see i'm using a stippling brush i mean it just it's not coming out as a, coming out as a blush for me as a blush it's not working for my skin tone so natasha i really hope you can come out with a darker version for our skin tone that would be great i have the bloom palette this one of hers and it is beautiful this one is just gorgeous this one as a blush, oh, wonderful, which actually I might as well just use it as a blush. So cream blush, and you need just a little bit, and it's cream based. You need just a little bit, and you'll see what I'm talking about. You see that? You can already see the, the red. I'm using the same brush. This is uh, Sigma Small Dual Fiber F55. It's so distracting because I'm looking at you guys, and over here I'm looking at the... Am I looking at myself? Shooting this video sometimes can be challenging, but that's okay. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it like that. I don't wanna put too much. Eyes, let's see. I kinda wanna put an eyeshadow, but a gold, you know, something very light. 
I'm really praying that this camera still has storage because I chose 4K to shoot with. I'm hoping it doesn't conk out on me before I finish. That's why I'm trying to hurry up. I'm not going to use any eye, an eyeshadow per se, but I'm going to use Mokamami. And this is the bronzer from Fenty Beauty. It's I really, really love this thing as an eyeshadow. Um, how it looks like. Look at that. It's just a deep, nice red. It's, it's so beautiful. Let me show it to you again. It's so nice. Because I, I, I really don't feel like doing much today. And I just put this all over my eyelid. Wipe emotions. Windshield wipe emotions. I bring it all the way up. And this have like a really nice warm look. Because this is a very simple look. You can wear this to work. You can wear this to school. Just anywhere where you you're not required to have too much makeup or if you're not comfortable wearing too much color in your eye eyeshadows in your eyes <laughs> colors in your eyeshadows <laughs> colors in your eyes this is a good to go makeup look for my eyelashes i'm gonna let them put some glue on it and i'm gonna be using the four mink lashes and these are the adele demi wispies adele lashes are so comfortable for my top eye, I'm gonna line using the Wet n Wild Liquid uh, Eyeliner. For my mascara, I'll be using L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in Carbon Luck. I found this really um, brown eyeliner. This is from LA Girl Ultimate Intense Auto Stay, and this is brown, and it glides so, so well so so well and so easily i'm gonna use that for my bottom lashes i got the brown eyeliner from alta i'm going to put that fenty beauty mokamami bronzer on my bottom lid i might have to go back in and put that eyeliner again my eyelashes are ready to go this is the first time i'm wearing lashes on camera this will be fun that's it and i'm using the same carbon black mascara from l'oreal i have to say it was so much easier to shoot with my phone because all i did was just i just adjusted a few settings on my phone and made sure it's fully charged and that's it for my lips i'm going to be using an eyeliner that i have not yet used and this is from kaja kaja i don't know how to say this i can't even see it on one side it's a lip liner on the other side you fill in with the same shade and this is in the shade uh i think this is chocolate brown oh god i can't see this is the darkest one i think they have and i got this from sephora it was on sale hey i love sales i wait for sales and this is how the the liner looks like the lip liner looks like and then this is what you fill it in with so the liner looks a little bit darker than the filler, whatever that is. Hmm. It's very natural. It's called Daybreak, number six. That's the name of the shade. I'm gonna top this and I'm gonna use a topper and this is from Thrive Cosmetics and this is Glinder. And it's like a, it's like a topper, it's like a glitter gloss. To set all this, I'm gonna use the Morphe setting spray. I love this thing. It has a continuous mist. Just make sure all this is in. Well, that's all guys for this very natural, neutral look. I hope you liked it. I hope it's something you can incorporate in your makeup routine. Today I have another tutorial. It's a different kind of a wrap tutorial. And this is from Trendy Tarbon. That's the name of the company. And theirs is different because theirs looks like a hat. Yeah, I'm in my cornrows still. Um, and you, you <laughs> it looks funny. You put it on like this and then, you know, you wrap it around and I'll show you what I mean. So to have that ball right here, because I don't have any hair, you know, I've raised on my cornrows. I took another scarf and you make it like a donut.
put it there and then get your turban and then put it on like that that might be too big but it might be too big if it's too big i'll just switch out the scuff this scuff you take the sides make sure they look like that oh i need to put some glue in my edges okay so you bring the two sides over at the front and this is a stretchy fabric then you tie you do you bring it again twice then you bring it at the back and i think this was called leopard then you bring it up like this again to the front and i'm just gonna do it again because i have a small head and there you go so this is a whole different wrap from you know the ones that i normally tie the the long ones but that's it guys then you you know pop in your hope earrings or whatever you want to do and you're set to go i really can't wait to see how this whole setup with a phone video looks like thank you so much guys for watching i will see you in my next video be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another bye